Hello guys, in this video I'm going to explain you guys and show the second version of the dictionary program we're going to be building in weeks, 11, uh, in weeks 12 and 13. This uh, mini project is worth three points. Uh, it can, uh, these uh, three points are activity points for weeks 10, 12 and 13. And this is the final version which contains slightly more and several more features added to the version 1 of the program. So let's run this program to see uh, how it looks like. Alright, so this is the output of the program. I mean, this is the result of the program. So we have a menu bar here, uh, file and about. We have the same uh, label, we have the same text field, we have the same list view, same word and definition, but also we have this checkbox. So we can see that there are um, there are two more features in this program. So, uh, I forgot to tell you in the previous video that uh, the filtering works like this. So, let's say you were looking for a word called Java. So, you type the first couple of letters and you can see uh, that you can click on a word. Also, if you type on a non-existing word like ASDF, it just shows you no such word. So, if you try to find out how to do this with a list view, so, uh, the first uh, feature is, uh, is the start. Sometimes when you're learning some words, you want to save them. For example, cat, I want to say there are some bugs. Don't pay attention. Uh, so, y you can select these words, star, I mean, the, the word cat and then the word dog. And let's say we want to select some other word. Uh, let's say hello. We're going to select it, and these three words are in start. So if I go to cat, if I scroll down far enough to cat, here is it. So casualty, ca casuist, and cat. You can see it is checked, and also dog. You can see that the dog is also going to be checked. Right, so the word is checked. So you can save the words for later, for, a, for studying the words later. So also you can see all your start words by going into this menu. Click on file and then see start words. And you can see that the start words are here. Cat, hello and dog. These are three words that I have start. Let's unstar the hello. It doesn't uh, update the list view directly. Uh, so this uh, could be some potential uh, uh, to do for this program for future. Let's unclick this and click again. You can see that there are only cat and dog. And if I go back to see cat, I can see that it's still start. So the second menu about contains this uh, about this program. You click on it and you will see an information message popping up. This program was developed by this person. For more information, please contact this email. All rights reserved. Okay. And then you quit the program. So, uh, the, the other potential thing that could be implemented in this program is saving the state of the program. So, for example, when I close it and open again, I will lose all the start words and uh, the state of the program is going to be lost. So, this currently this program doesn't uh, store the state, but this is a potential uh, future uh, improvement for this program. So let's see the uh, what's changed from version one. You can see that the widths, primary color, secondary color are the same. We have the same uh, root pane, top label, text field, list view, word label, definition label, but we have this start checkbox, which is right here. It's a single checkbox. It, uh, it's going to change depending on the word which is displayed. We have uh, one more data field called hash uh, start word set. It's a hash set. You know, when we display the start words, we want to know if cat is start or not. So we're going to store all the start words in a hash set. And you know that if you want to check if some certain element contains in some collection, Hash sets are the best data structure data structures for this purpose, and we have 
like the menu bar this is the menu bar the menu bar um, it's it extends the node class and you can put your uh, menu bar anywhere on your screen so we put it on top of the of the of the scene and then we have file menu and about menu the file menu contains this star c start menu item it's a check menu item because i can check it it works like the checkbox and we have the menu item about menu item about this program and we have the same old four methods start init layout init handlers and load dict so these menus go to init layout and this checkbox selecting and deselecting it go, goes to init handlers and there are a couple of more enhancements i mean uh, a couple of more lines of code added in in uh, in all of these three methods and probably in start as well all right so we're going to be working in this program in practice lesson of week number 13. I hope uh, you will be able to finish this mini project and have fun and learn lots of things along the way. Uh, thank you guys for your attention. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.